Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today we're going to be relocating my baby from me. Now I've already picked this new mama and a new baby. We always start off like that. Like, let me give you a couple of minutes to try to figure that out. So, hope everyone ha- is having a nice day today. This is my first stream. Can't wait to get into it. Um, I've got to explain just a few things here. In case you don't know what we're doing, and in case this is your very first stream like this. Now, the plans is is that your person will be transferred back to me, and we're going to relocate them to where you know the best. And I'm not sure where we're going to be working from, but we're going to be relocating them. I mean, we'll just have to explore. You know, relocate them sometime down. But, the reason why I picked that stream is that there's only a certain amount of streams that you can pick from, and there it would be my boy would be happy to have my mama be able to value, and then you go down to the 30, the plus like the short, and then 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, those are all things that you can relocate. And... I picked the best one here because I'm already doing a big relocation in my own town. And that's uh, why I relocated them. No, that's the night house. I'm doing the night house uh, with uh, Gwyn, which is, which is fun. And I enjoy doing it. And we're going to do the box tomorrow. I don't really know where, but thanks to my download with it from the honesty my chat there so you can watch that probably now buffalo blues is more of a rebuilding kind of like a house but that's why i'm going to rebuild a little bit but it won't be as much of a rebuilding just because of that and um since i can't well it's still going to be rebuilt but it won't be as So yeah, that's the um that's the whole thing pretty much. So yeah, that's the um that's the whole thing pretty much. Okay, it has just occurred to me that my mic was muted that whole time, but that's okay, we can get back on track right here right now. Let's kinda Set up the guidelines and the rules just really quickly. All right, so Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I chose them because they're a team that need to be rebuilt, but not rebuilt superly bad. Like they have, I know you can't see him because he's suspended and we went back to 2018 season. That way I could rebuild them, but still have a, um, Still have a full season, and then 2019 will be the relocated team. And once we relocate the team, it's like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers never existed. It's going to be from scratch. The team's going to have its own name. It's going to be a new career. And we'll do that for a couple of seasons and see how it goes. Now, we do have Fitzpatrick right now, but once Winston comes back from his uh, suspension, he'll be all good. And we're going to make a few roster moves. But anyways, back to what I explained earlier, but my mic was muted. Is that you go over here to my owner. Oh, not. You don't go to Stamp. This is how you relocate. But as you see, I've already started the relocating thing. You go to my owner. And then you go to Team Value. And then once you get to Team Value, you want to scroll all the way down to Stadium, click X, and then 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, all teams you can rebuild. I was thinking about the Raiders, but the Raiders are already leaving in 2020. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in their new place in Las Vegas. And then the Rams just recently relocated. I didn't think that would be fun. The Bills I'm doing on my own time. The Saints, I just didn't really want to because I felt like they had a better team and it would be easy. 
Titans, same thing. I feel like they've got a pretty good team that you could build up. But Buccaneers, I feel like is I can bring in my own players, but also it's got a semi-decent team. Now we're gonna go to the depth chart and make some make some changes that I feel are necessary. See, they have Peyton Barber starting. I don't agree with that. I think you need to make Ronald Jones second your starter because he's a rookie. I feel like he can grow, be a mid eighties running back, and we'll have a good running back there. I like that. Fullback, we've got Austin Johnson. Nothing much there. Uh, wide receiver court is pretty good. Mike Evans is, of course, going to go back to the number one receiver. I don't know why he'd be number two receiver when he's better than Deshaun Jackson. Not really sure. Anyways, to tight end, O.J. Howard or Cam Brait. Um... I want to go a O.J. Howard at the moment just because he is good. And we're going to pretty much sim the whole season, I think. That's going to be the thing. I think we're just going to sim the whole season. Just getting familiar with our team. Oh, the offensive line is going to be terrible, which is a lot. Which is with you know, the case with a lot of teams. So. In Madden, at least. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do. I just really wanted to move um, the running back situation around and make Jones the starter. All right, so here we go. Also, another reason why I chose the Buccaneers, I felt the NFC would be a tougher conference to go in into, and I realized that I could have went with the Saints. But, like I said, the Saints, who we are playing this week, actually, would have been an easier, like, rebuild. Because I want to be able to bring in my own rookies who make an impact, like, the first couple years of the relocation. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go. And we have to some week by week right now because I have to re do the relocation. But we do actually beat the Saints week one. And if we do make the playoffs, I might play the playoffs year one, like with the Bucks. But I don't think we will make the playoffs, but I guess we could. As we're going to play the Eagles this week. A very good team. Um, actually, they just won last night against the Bears in a crazy game. As we do beat the Eagles too, also... Before I forget, I'll show you the settings. I'm not the best Madden player, so we do have it on All Pro. If that's too easy and we start winning games by a lot, then of course I will make it all Madden. But until then, I feel like that's okay simulation because we will be sim simulating some because I'm not going to play a full game because we are on 15 minute quarter length. So. I'm going to be playing the moments, maybe playing all offense and stuff. Everything else is on the same from when you start the game. Alright, we no, now negotiating contracts here. Brent Grimes is almost at the end of his career. 87, not the best. I probably would trade him for a uh, draft pick, but I will give him just a couple bucks. Just to stay on the team, and then we'll get him off the books while we trade him for a draft pick. Probably like first round, second round. Get a lot of talent. Because I'm not sure where I want to go with this. If I want to stick with Jameis Winston. Or trade for a quarterback. Or I mean draft a quarterback. Trade or draft a quarterback. But other than that. Yeah, because we're going to keep Kwan. Of course, I hope he develops. Adam, we're going to keep him. Peyton Barber, backup running back, of course. Fitzpatrick, maybe. And that's about it. That's about all we're going to keep on the team. Yeah. That's about all we're going to keep on the team, I think. All right, scouting. This, we're going to go auto-generated because I feel like I have a better chance to get a uh, good quarterback with that instead of 
going and getting the uh, 2019 draft class. Because the 2019 draft class doesn't have the best quarterbacks in it right now. Uh, but 2020 has two and everybody else. But we're going to go with the randomly generated right now. Alright, here we go. Chance. Which... Am I sick with Jameis? I don't really know. It's a decision I'll have to make down the line. Which... We're going to send this season on the stream right now. Make the decision on the stream. And then that'll be this series. We'll probably be doing it almost every day. But this Saturday and Sunday might not have an episode. But... Yeah. Other than that, we're going to be streaming almost every single day. At least trying to. Alright, upgrade. As we do beat the Steelers to go 3-0, this is nuts. I don't know why this team is doing as good as it is. Holy cow. Alright, I'll for a couple more contracts. I'll do most of this like off camera. But we'll do the draft tomorrow. Tomorrow the draft will be will be here for sure for sure the draft will be tomorrow because i'll be doing that online but i just really don't want to be scouting players and like signing contracts and so because that's convoy but hopefully i think next week we'll get the start of the choices and then once we have everything set out i'll peace out get it all simulated towards the end of the year and then tomorrow we'll come back I'll show you the end of it, the awards, everything else, if we have any award winners, etc, etc. I'm going to scout just one more, a couple more guys for you guys, just so you can see. Ooh, JJ Booker, not very good, I was thinking about getting him, doesn't look like he's going to be a very good player though. Um, I'm thinking for sure quarterback would be one of the best positions to get here. And then left tackle. If we get a good left tackle, that'd be nice. Right guard, too. Alright. And I honestly don't know what city I want to relocate to. But we do have another weekly award as we are for now. So let's go ahead and see, and it is Jones the second. He is having a good year, it looks like, or at least a good week. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead, view the available cities. Let's go, we got London. I'm not going to do London, because I know other people have already done London. You've got Mexico City, not really interested in Mexico City, Toronto, uh, maybe, Toronto's a maybe. San Antonio, I'm not really feeling San Antonio because there are, you know, the Dallas Cowboys, Orlando, should I keep it in or you know, in Florida and just go to Orlando, interesting Salt Lake City, I'm already doing one there, Brooklyn, I just gave them another team in New York, Brooklyn, New York, maybe, Memphis, doesn't really interest me. Chicago already has a team. Sacramento. I mean, California. Yeah. Not really feeling it. Columbus, Ohio. Hmm. Portland. Snowhawks, Lumberjacks, Riverhawks. Austin, Texas. Dublin, Ireland. Houston. Oklahoma City, St. Louis, but we I don't really want that. San Diego wants another team. They want to get their team back. Las Vegas is already getting a team. Alright, that's all of them though. You know, we're going to go with the Orlando... Just to keep it in Florida. Which I don't. 
you know, it's kind of lame, but I like it, keeping it in Florida, we're not moving very far, that way the players just stay, you know, that just adds to realism, because when teams move, some of the players are like, hey, I don't want to move that far away, etc, etc, but I feel like as long as we're this close, you know, they'll stay. Realistically, I mean, of course they're gonna say because it's a video game, but I'm just saying it makes it more realistic and Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the team so far how they performed We still gotta pick the uniforms and everything else Welcome to the Orlando What are we? I don't know what we are yet because we haven't picked the name yet but Yeah Or Orlando. <laughs> Give us something in the next week. Pick our name. All right, here we go. We can't keep the Buccaneers. We're not doing that. Orbits, Orlando Orbits. That sounds pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not really happy with that. Wizards are pretty popular. Orlando Wizards? Or Orlando Orbits? We're gonna go with... It's a little more cartoony. And I don't really like it all that much because it is cartoony. But we're gonna go Orlando Wizards. Let's get it! Alright, next week we'll pick the uniforms, I believe that's how it goes. And it does, it lose our first game, which really is a big deal. Alright, let's look at this one. 34% of the popularity bowl. I like that. I like that one. Yeah, we're definitely going to go with the first one. I mean, I know the last one does have 36, but this one's better in my opinion. We're going to go with those uniforms. We got an injury. Let's go ahead and look at it. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of injuries. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> when half your team's injured, what are you supposed to do there? Half my team is injured. What the heck? We're going to go with the hybrid stadium. I like that design. I think that's one of the best designs in the game. We'll upgrade the players. Our, our player. As we do take another L to the Browns. And that's it. We're going to send to the end of the season right now. Get some new playoffs. See if we can squeak in or not. And then once that happens. We'll review the stats. Send the off season, off season draft tomorrow for the Orlando Wizards. Kind of dope, kind of happy about that. You will yearly awards. Let's see what's going on here. Any top ten fellas? No. Oof. Coach of the year? No. That's okay. Uh, NFC, because we're in NFC. Let's go ahead and look. Yeah, no, we didn't even have anybody in top 10 of Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. Anybody? No. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Ronald Jones. Let's go, Ronald Jones. We did go 5-11, and 11, as you can see. Not the best. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We do get Via Via. Ah, uh, Vita Via, rather. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Best quarterback. Nope. Best running back. No. Okay. We did get one, <laughs> one, one reward. Two award winners, actually. Or one, actually. But Via Via did come in. And like the top. So, gotta be happy about that. 
I never named him the starter. That's okay. Let me fix the death chart real quick. So I don't summon another season like that. Alright, over to the stats now. Let's go ahead and check everything out. See what went wrong. See what went good. 25-13 for Fitzmagic. Not the best, but not the worst, certainly. Um, oh, I went down the Cardinals. My bad. Let's see, Ryan Griffin came down, completed one pass. Ronald Jones had 897 yards, six touchdowns. Barber had five touchdowns in the year. I mean, just an average year. Well, you know, honestly, just an average year overall. A lot of our receivers only getting six TDs. Not really doing that great. But that's okay. Alright, we're going to send to the offseason. Sue wins the Super Bowl. Then the offseason starts tomorrow. Well, and we'll end tomorrow, of course. But that's just, yeah. Alright. 24-21. Eagles went back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Congratulations. I will go ahead and end off the episode by signing people. Never mind, we already signed everybody. So we can go, we can send one more week. I just want to thank, thank everybody for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys are ready for the Wizards to take over the NFL. Let's get it. I'll see you guys next time. Doses.